And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell. Today we're taking a look at Volt from Emerson Matsuchi. Now, Emerson is one of the greatest game designers in the world. Very popular these days because of Century, Spice Road, and Reef, and just has done some tremendous games. But his second game that he designed was Volt. I reviewed Volt back in the day. I thought it was a really good robot programming game. This is a second version of the game from Heidelberger, where they really upped the ante on the components for the game and changed a few rules, I guess. But it's, I mean, I still like the game, so I'm kind of spoiling that part right out here, but it's still a really great game. If you've never heard of it, it's definitely one you want to check out. Here's why. So players are placing their robots and they're going to be using them and moving them around an arena which is placed in the box and there are four different arenas that you can use. Uh, what players are going to be doing is they're going to be programming on their turns. So in each round of the game players can take their four dice and they're going to program one die on each of these different areas here. And you're going to program them with whatever number you want them to be and also, if it's red, that means you're going to shoot. If it's blue, you're going to move. Movement can only happen orthogonally, while shooting can happen in any direction that you want. So you're going to place these. As soon as you're done placing them, you're going to grab the lowest number that's available because this will break ties if, there, if it does matter uh, when you're activating the dice. At the beginning of each round, you're actually going to be drawing a number from victory point tokens and placing that here. That's a token players are trying to move to. If you land on it, you're going to get that victory point token. By the way, if you land on one of these, you're destroyed, and you'll come back here. You're also trying to do three damage to other robots. If you do a third damage to somebody, then you will get a victory point for destroying them also. So killing other robots is good, and or landing on top of these victory points. And these will keep showing up round after round. There's a maximum of three that will be on the board, but that will very rarely happen because you'll be moving around in them. Then everyone will take their shields down and they'll reveal these and you're going to just go through each of the programmings one at a time. You'll start with one, then two, then three. So in these, the lowest number is going to go first. When moving, that simply just means you're going to move that many spaces in a direction that you said, whether it helps you out or not. Now granted, you shouldn't necessarily land in pits because you can see where you're going to move. Although robots might, you know, push other robots around and you can push someone else into a pit. When shooting, you're just going to shoot in a straight line in that direction. And if you hit another robot, you're going to do damage to them. Moving happens before shooting, lower numbers before higher numbers. And if there's still a tie, then you'll use these activation numbers to break the tie. Once everyone is done, you go back and start the next round and you keep going until someone gets three points. There are a few various um, things you can do to make the game more interesting if you want to. You essentially can take, draw two cards from these different modules and add them. They essentially will give you special abilities or maybe modify your weapon. Here, before activating it, move this red die by one or two keys either direction or a power beam. Hit with it. If you hit with a three or four, you push someone. If you hit with a five or six, you push them twice. Or fire in four directions either orthogonal or diagonal, each hit does one damage. So there's various things that you can get. This kind of customizes your robot, and honestly, I would never play without these, frankly. And then you can play with different, uh, like I said, different zones, where there's different dangerous things around the board, or walls you can't go through, things like that. Even the main board here, there's another side to it also. It's, these towers here are not really that big of a deal, but they, they do look neat on the outside of the board and they give you a spot to put things. Everything fits nicely into a plastic insert. Here's the other side of the board, by the way, if you want to see it. I like the boards. I like the look of everything. Everything is very good quality. The dice are good quality. The components are really good quality. The only thing I might complain about is the rules are extremely simple, but they, I just wish they were a slightly it's hard to explain, like setup, instead of setup telling you how to set up, it just tells you what everything is. And setup is actually back here under components, which is kind of weird how they, they wrote that out. There's just a few 
ways I would have rewritten this a little bit differently. And then the RFL manual has setup changes and stuff, and I would have just made this the full rules instead of... I, I like that they explain everything in here, and they even have Killbots, another game you can play for two to three people. Um, and then, you know, it, it does show you everything, and it's very nice and colorful. I just didn't think they were the clearest rules considering how simple they were. Other than that, absolutely fantastic components. Now, the idea of robot-on-robot -robot combat is fun. People like that sort of thing. That's why robot wars and games like that exist, and that's what this feels like. This is a cool programming game because there's really no luck to a lot of it. You're basically just trying to outguess your opponents, and you have these dice. You pick how far you want to move or how fast you want to move slash shoot. Sometimes you want to shoot after somebody else, right? So I... I'm going to shoot this direction, but you might be moving in that direction. So I say, okay, if you're going to move a three and you're going to be right in that spot, I'm thinking you're going to move three spaces to go to that spot, then I'm going to shoot at a four. So I'm shooting after you move, but oh, I want to shoot before you move. So I'm going to shoot at a one. So it's a faster speed. It's just, it's a really interesting thing. And you have, it's not a ton of choices. You're just putting three dice on three spots picking the different spots, programming your robot. It's way more fun when you play with the modified stuff just because you feel like you have asymmetrical robots. But I've always liked games like Robo Rally, you know, where you move around and program your robots. And Robo Rally is a race game, but you can add a thing in where you're shooting each other with lasers. Well, that's a lot of fun. That's all Volt is. You're still trying to move to the right spots to get the right victory point tokens, but you're also shooting at each other as the game goes by. And high quality components in this game to the point of, I really like that even in the uh, arena here, they got advertisements on the side here. The power of a volcano and one slice of pizza. Max Drift, angry wheels for angry people. That's, that's like going above and beyond. So super high quality components and they streamlined the game slightly, but it's pretty much the exact, I shouldn't say the exact same game, but it's fairly close to what Emerson Immediate did in the beginning. Uh, Volt is a fast game. It says 30 minutes in the box. That's definitely true. It's a game that if you get messed up and pushed in a pit, you just come back, not a big deal, and you keep fighting, and games can end really quickly or quickly. There's really not much other than that, and it's going to be this constant, fast-flowing, go, 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 move, 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 program, program, go, 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 and I like that. I like the, the quickness, the speed of it. It feels like a robot arena-style game. It's a, it's a lot of fun. Definitely check out Volt, the new edition. Dice Tower of Judgment, approved!